What's up everybody, Cineplays here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we discovered the bedroom dome, we completed the kitchen dome, and we defeated Bowser Jr.'s airship. In this episode, we're going to check out the frozen peak of Baron Burr, and check out some more galaxies in the bedroom. Hey, old man, are you practicing how to skate too? Well, why don't we play a game? Can you catch me? We'll see. <laughs> I didn't explain this much in the last episode, but skating physics, if you shake the Wii Remote, you get a burst of speed. Not bad, old man. With skating skills like skating skills like that, you might have a chance. Small chance, maybe, but a chance. Yep, skating physics. <laughs> Pretty simple. A little cool thing I showed last time was that if you're skating, you can do that. <laughs> Even though it's not a frozen surface. Do a little skate, skate triple jump. That's what it is. Or in that case, a skate double jump. But, you know, whatever. Let's not argue over details. Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see, can we just skip this? Oh, we can, but we can't because we actually need an ice flower to get up there. So we need to break open this ice flower. Then get over that sling star as fast as possible. It actually looks like you can skip over. Oh my gosh. You can skip the fall animation. Actually, oh my gosh, no. You can actually like skip the, no. <laughs> Is this guy gonna show up or no? This thing have coins in it? Does this thing have coins in it? I could use a coin block right about now. Because this water is so cold, it will actually hurt you. Here, let's bring this little burr over here. Okay. That makes me a little more comforted. Wait for these guys. I don't remember their canonical name. They do have a canonical name, though. Here we go. Baron Burr. Now, I think you're supposed to actually get an ice flower and sort of skate up there. I think it's entirely possible to just make your way up there using some acrobatics. Or maybe not. You know what? Let's just do it the dev intended way. <laughs> it would just be easier. Uh, let's see. We'll just wall jump. And then what you do is you spin in order to deactivate his ice powers, and then you spin him again in order to deal some damage. 
Watch out. The ground pound move will send you hurtling off of the arena. So you want to watch out for that. Looks like it's going to spawn in some help. Overall, a pretty easy mini boss. But, you know, it's the first level of a brand new galaxy. So, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit easier. As you may have noticed, though, that was called the Freeze Flame Galaxy. And that level was the Frozen Peak. And if it's Freeze Flame... Then there's a... A cop... A, <laughs> A cosmic comet. Of, of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. Frosty Cosmic Mario Race. Of course, of course. Naturally. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get our trick to work again. Even though it'll be, like, basically useless here. Nunchuck forward. Z. A. There we go. But I was right, it was pretty much useless. <laughs> because there's not enough... There's not enough of a straightaway there. The speed boost at much of an impact, but there is still definitely some use to it. That use is just magnified in other levels. So again, shake to get that nice speed boost, and there you go. Easy enough. But what I was building up to was actually ellipses. Here we go, Freeze Flames Blistering Core. I'm gonna be real with you. The first level's way better. <laughs> this one isn't bad either. But instead of chasing a penguin, we have to fill in some star chips. Oh my gosh. This <laughs> is so annoying. Yeah, it's also annoying. I don't think we've ever seen star chips form a pull star before. And a launch star. Whew. These heat waves are distorting our view. Luckily I'm playing this on I on I. Oh my gosh. <laughs> On a 720p Wii U, because I have it set to 720p, because my capture card will record 720p 60fps. And this game basically has to be experienced in 60fps, so it's nice and buttery smooth. But like, if I have my Wii U set to 1080p, then it won't do 60 FPS. You're really only getting a slight boost in resolution. And it's not worth it when this game looks this good in 60 frames per second. And plus the original game only displayed at 480p anyways. At least from my understanding, so... You're not gaining that much by putting your Wii U up to 
1080. But I say that because I would imagine these little heat lines would look hideous on a 720, on a, no, on a 480p display. Like, gosh, like smudgy, even more smudgy by the heat waves or whatever. Man, that would look kind of bad. But, you know, we're going through this level here. Wow, that's... Wow, that's bad. <laughs> the camera movement looks really weird. And this level just has not been kind to me. You got these things. Oh, let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna lose my life shroom. Darn it. Oh, just barely. Climb up here. We got some hardcore platforming here. Man, gal the Galaxy games, they don't have too many, like, just raw platforming stages. When they do, man, they are good. This level is an example of... Really good example... Of... Galaxy platforming. Can I just, like, tank this? We're damage boosting, because we are hardcore speedrunners. Oh yeah, <laughs> hardcore speedrunners. Okay, I was wondering if that platform was going to let us grab a star, and it does, so that's good. Here, let me get the microphone closer to my face. There we go, it'll probably sound better, <laughs> or worse. You know, if I get right up next to it, I'm just like peeking all the time. There we go, that, that looks a lot better. Do I want to save? No, I don't want to save my game. There's still another mission in Freeze Flame we have to do. Hot and cold collide. Pretty self-explanatory. That's where we let. That's <laughs> where we get to see a lot of these gross frame drops, because you know you got to render all of these particle effects. <laughs> Things can get kind of chunky. I will say though, probably the best first planet in the entire galaxy because you don't really have to chase anything or grab anything but now we get to take a little trip to this green planet or at least kind of green on the outside showcasing a perfect balance between hot and cold Let's see where's the fire flower over there probably oh my gosh <laughs> No, the camera is good in this game. No. Oh my gosh. <sighs> yeah, that water is cold and you will take damage. So watch out for that. Yeah, right here will open up this door. <laughs> Look at that! Wait, can we just like skip this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. 
Okay. I didn't know if I was gonna make it or not, but I did. Wow, that is by no means the intended way to do that. But it's it's just so easy. It's like the developers probably like you know for some of these shortcuts the playtesters found them, and then they were like, "Hey, these are cool shortcuts." I'm sure some of these had to be intentional. Whoa, that was, <laughs> whoa, that was really, really close. There's a one up there, but I'm not really going to bother with it. I think after I'm done recording this episode... Uh, <gasps> whoa, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> after I'm done recording this episode, I think I'm going to quit. I mean, not quit. Like the let's play I mean the game for the night it's pretty late I think it's like 11 I gotta go to bed <laughs> I gotta get my sleep schedule in order I can't do that if I'm up recording LP episodes at 11 o'clock at night can I make it Here, let's see I did not grab the ice flower Oh, yes! I missed some of the star bits, though. Not happy about that. Because I know when I go back and rewatch this episode, I'm going to be like, Darn it, me! <laughs> I missed those star bits. A new chapter has been added to our storybook. Yes, we will save! And I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, we're going to go see what the Gusty Garden Galaxy has in store for us. So, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cinda Place. See you guys later. Peace.